What would you expect uh, the charges against Mr. Bankman Freed to look like? So I think you're going to see a wire fraud charge. Uh, if you uh, have seen any of the reporting, uh, you've seen, for example, that uh, FTX's customers were promised that their money uh, was uh, was held at FTX, and of course that wasn't the case. I expect some securities fraud violations uh, related to the artificial inflation of the price of FTT, the FTX token. Uh, I also, ex you know, expect to see potential money laundering charges as well. Yeah, the SEC, we're talking civil charges. Uh, again, kind of, are, you think, by the way, that the, the Southern District or the U.S. Attorney's Office, the SEC, are working together? Or are they going to conduct two completely separate uh, attempted prosecutions? That, that's right. So what, what generally happens, these cases are, occur in parallel. So what I expect to happen is uh, the SEC uh, filed a lawsuit. The, uh, the DOJ has, has an indictment. What will happen is uh, the the SEC lawsuit will essentially be put on hold during the pendency of the criminal case. And uh, so Mr. Uh, Bankman Freed uh, has to fight the criminal case. Uh, e even if he wins in the criminal case, then he has to uh, litigate against the SEC. Uh, you know, and more likely, if he's found guilty, uh, then, you know, it'll be much easier for the SEC to prove its case afterwards. Yeah, and, and I don't want to, you know, <clears throat> making correlations and whatever is a dangerous game because Mr. Bankman Freed is innocent until found guilty or until, I guess, he confesses. And I bring that last part up because the Bernie Madoff trial, and I'm only making a comparison to that. I want to make it clear because that was another high-profile financial crimes trial. That moved extremely quickly because we often forget that Madoff wasn't caught. He confessed. His sons turned him in, and then he confessed. It was all kinds of cut and dried. Assuming Mr. Bankman Freed, who looks like Renato, and correct me if I'm wrong, I have a law degree, but I'm not a lawyer, looks like he's setting up the sort of dumb businessman defense, right? I'm just bad at business. I'm not a crook. Assuming he goes down that path, how long could this take? Years? It could take years if he wants to stretch it out. In other words... You know, most defendants don't want to rush to get their speedy trial that the Constitution uh, gives them. Uh, they want to take their time. They want to delay. They want to prepare a defense. This is a complicated case. There will be a lot of discovery and documents that will be produced to his uh, lawyers, whoever they end up being. So I expect this to take some time. I wouldn't expect a trial probably until 2024, early 2023 at the, at the very earliest, but I doubt that will happen. And, and, yeah, I think that's exactly the defense that he's trying to set up. I was incompetent. I was inattentive. I'm not a fraud, sir. I'm just, you know, very, uh, very inattentive and incompetent. Uh, I don't think it's very compelling, but it's it's a defense that we've seen before. The problem for Mr. Bankman-Fried, he's talked to every uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry he possibly could and, you know, confessed uh, his uh, views and, and locked himself into a story which will make his lawyer's life very, very difficult. Yeah, and, you know, I, <clears throat> it was a thinking yesterday, Renato, when, when I saw the news and he was, he was supposed to testify before a House congressional hearing today. Now, that would likely be under oath. So I was thinking, and, and this is going to sound weird, but tell me if you think it is weird, that in the grand scheme of being arrested, being arrested the day before you go under oath before Congress may not have been the worst timing for Mr. Bankman Freed because it will prevent him from testifying under oath where, if he slips up, he may perjure himself and make it worse. All in, would you agree that Kind of good timing on his part to be arrested. He was going to be arrested anyway. We knew that. To be arrested yesterday before having to appear before Congress. Yeah, I think that that's that's fair a fair point. I you know I don't know why the uh, Justice Department didn't wait until after that testimony. I will say that uh, Mr. Bankman Freed uh, was answering very tough questions on a daily basis. You know, I would go on Twitter Spaces every single day, it seemed like, and see that Mr. Bankman Freed was, uh, you know, uh, conducting an interview and, and answering I mean, incredibly incisive, difficult questions, usually stumbling all over himself, having trouble providing cogent answers. 
here's the thing, whether under oath or not, every word that Bankman Freed said is going to be admissible against him at trial. Yeah. All those recordings. But all does those that, we're not a, we, sorry to, sorry to jump in, but we, we're getting cut off. I want to ask, but does that kind of mumbly, you know, stumbly type presentation, could that go to help him again to that bad businessman defense? Oh gosh, I'm just kind of a, an awkward, you know, young adult, you know, whatever. And I'm just not good at business and all oh, gee whiz. I'm just not, I'm smart, but I'm not smart at business. And gosh, I didn't mean to do anything. You know where I'm going with that. A hundred percent. Here's the funny thing about the federal rules evidence. Any pieces of his statements that are helpful to him, he is not allowed to introduce because they're hearsay. He has to take the stand himself, but the government can use his statements against him because they're his opponent and their admissions against him. So the government can pick and choose the statements that are the most damaging to him and only play those. Uh, so really, uh, you know, what I think that the problem is, he's going to hear the greatest hits of all his mess ups and all his foibles from yeah. his statement. And, and then they're going to play that in contrast uh, with his, you know, you know, persona that he tried to portray, of course, before this collapse, which is very, very different.